today, Ellen is here to help. She's helping British actor Hugh Laurie's American slang. Flossing. That would be something close-fitting. I don't know. No. That was to really show you how wrong you were. <laughs> helping Heidi Montag from MTV's The Hills reunite with her arch enemy. Lauren, I want you to come out. Awkward. And helping American Idol's Jason Castro with a new do. One dreadlock. It would just be, you know. Uh... And all new Ellen starts now. <laughs> I don't want to put it off anymore. I want to tell you immediately about today's show. He's, he's not a doctor in real life, but he, he plays one on TV. Hugh Laurie is here. <laughs> Hugh Laurie is going to be sitting right there. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, our first guest plays everyone's favorite cranky doctor on Fox's hit drama House. Take a look. Okay, so why are you taking so much Vicodin? Cuddy asks. Blocking the pain helps focus the memory. You split your head open, you should rest. Anything? Hint of exploded bus. House. That's four Vicodin in 40 seconds. At this rate, wish me luck. I'm going in, Rambo style. Lovely to see you. So, uh, so your family is visiting from England. They are. That's they are. exciting. They're going back and forth much more now. That's a, well. How many years have you been doing the show? It's flown by. It's actually four years. It's four years. And at what point do you decide to move your wife and your entire family here? At what point do you go? Oh, ten. Uh huh. Year ten. We're about ten. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. It's, I'm such a pessimist. You see, I, I, I can never really believe that the thing is going to last. The first year, the whole of the first year, I was in a hotel. Um, and in fact, I didn't even unpack the suitcase. I was... Um, wow. Uh, everyone else but getting leases on houses. I said, no, we're going to be cancelled. We, we can't possibly survive. You're all mad. You're all mad. And now four years have gone by, and I'm sort of getting used to the idea that we might be around for a Uh-huh. Yeah. And do, does your family like it? Your son's in the audience today, right? Do they like it here? They do like it very much. Mm -hmm. it, they, and, 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 of course, it's very... Yeah, it's very familiar to them because any well-educated British child spends their school years watching American television. Uh -huh. That's uh, essentially what they do. So everything, everything about this city is, is very familiar. Mm -hmm. You know, we know how Steven Seagal bags his groceries, um, you know, with the celery sticking out of the top. We know all that stuff. Uh -huh. And with respect, I think we know, because of, because of the films and, and uh, TV shows, we know more about America than America knows about the rest of the world for that reason. I agree. So, so this is a crazy story. I can't even believe that you just found out that your dad won a gold medal in the Olympics. Oh, no. I, I didn't just find it out. I found it out many, many years after. My father was a phenomenally modest, black belt in modesty, um, the most incredibly humble man. And he never told me. And I... I found it by accident um, when I was, a, I was a teenager, I suppose. I found it rummaging in a sock drawer. Can't imagine what I was looking for in a sock drawer. <laughs> Beyond socks. Yeah. Um, his, his stash, perhaps. His uh -huh. stash of socks. Yeah. Um, and I, I found that, and I thought, what the hell is this? This is a, it says, you know, Olympia. And, and yeah, it turned out he'd won, a, he'd won a gold medal. And I remember. For, for what? For, for rowing. Rowing. Yeah. Had you seen him row before? I had seen him row. I could remember, because when I saw it, when I realized what it was, I had these horrible flashbacks. I remembered being in a boat, going fishing with my father and mother, and, and he, was, he was at the oars, maneuvering the boat away from the jetty. And I was a little bit doubtful. I was probably about 10, and I said to my mother, does, you know, does he know how to row? And uh, you'd have thought that would be a pretty good moment to drop it into the conversation. Sure. 
that he was a world champion. But uh, no, it never came, didn't come up for another 10 years. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's it's amazing. A bit, it's a bit mad, actually. Yeah. And it, a little, a little bit. to keep it in a sock drawer, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he probably just by himself looked at it all the time. I'd like to think that yeah. he, he, had a, he had a moment. He communed with it every yeah. now and then. Yeah. That's very impressive, though. Unless he put it on and then it, yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't make any sense at all. No. I'd like to know where you're going with that, but I'm, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm frightened, I so I will not. Yeah. Um, and now, do you share any of that uh, rowing skill? Did, did, does that is that in your I, blood? I, I I plied that particular trade, not not a trade, but I but I rowed um, till I was uh, I rowed at university, you know, to my early twenties. Yeah, uh -huh. very hard work. Uh -huh. very yeah, hard work. it's good exercise. Very good exercise, mm -hmm. um, and, but you're facing the wrong way. Yes. You're facing backwards, and there's something very significant about that. And I decided I wanted to face forwards in life. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that, no. that's rather poetic, isn't it? It really is. Um, it really is. Um, it, we have to take a break, but before we go to break, I have to ask you this. You take so many pills on the show all the time. What, what are you really taking? Because you're swallowing something constantly. I, I don't know. They, uh, to begin uh, with, I honestly don't know. Uh, I think it's something to stop me from complaining. Uh -huh. uh, is my theory. I, I, th um, they told me to begin with it was some sort of lactose or lactate. Uh, anyway, whatever the word is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Lacoste and, shirts. That's right. No. And then, then uh, one, of, I, one of the prop uh, men one day actually said, "Oh my God, you're not actually swallowing those, are you?" And that was a little bit of well, yes, I have. I've swallowed about 400 in the last three months. <laughs> What the hell was it? Nothing. Uh, no, they're fine. Probably fine. <laughs> Have you noticed any rashes or no? But I, I seem to be all right. You seem to be all right, but yeah. you are swallowing a lot of things. I noticed. And I was just yes, curious what, I'm, what I'm, they're giving I you. I am a swallower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Well, you no. said it now. probably means something different in Europe and so <laughs> and when we come back it works very well because we're gonna I'm gonna test you and see if you know some of the slang here and if I know the slang there because uh, and I'll tell you what that means here when we uh, will be right back We're back with Hugh Laurie. Now, I'm going to give you some slang, some American slang. We're going to take turns. We'll see uh, how much you know and how much I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to give you is uh, flossing. Do you know what flossing means? <clears throat> you mean actually flossing? No, it's slang. Right. It's slang. Uh, you, I mean, you do know what actual flossing is. Well, I know. I <laughs> I know the Americans' opinion of, of, of British dental practice, but yes, I do uh -huh, know what that right. is. Um, mm, Flossing. That would be something close-fitting, and uh, no, I know, I don't know. No. Uh, oh, there was. That would be. That was to really show you how wrong you were. Right. It was. It's kind of rubbing it out. Yeah, it really is. Isn't it, it was yeah, aggressive. I'm yeah. sorry, because I could have just said no, but we right. just. In America, we like to really rub it With in. With a clack. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's showing off, flossing. Really? Yeah, showing off is flossing. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> what sound does it make when you're right? It's a, it's, it's both. Ding! Like oh, that, right. yeah. <laughs> Which is. Uh, it's probably a different sound in England. It is, yeah. <laughs> well, we're never right in England. Um, chin wag. Chin wag. Yeah, I'm not going to say it again. Okay. <laughs> chin wag. Yeah. Uh, that would be a, a, a blundering idiot. A shinwag. You shinwag. Mm. No? No. It's, it's actually, it's, it's a verb, and it means to chat. It, literally, to wag your chin. It's actually very literal. It's not really... Shinwag. Chin, chin, chinwag. Did chin. I mispronounce it? I think that's why. I never would have gotten it wrong. Oh. I just couldn't understand the thick British accent. Can we look accent. at that in slow motion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dry. Yeah, chin wag, of course. Yes. That does sound like... All right. So we're tied. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Tied at nothing. Um, uh, Badonkadonk. <laughs> Means to pass someone on a motorcycle and then see a police car and brake suddenly. <laughs> I, no. 
It's an extremely curvaceous female behind. Right. Badonka donk. Right. We definitely don't have those in England. You don't have? No. no. <laughs> Is it badonka donk? Badonka donk. It's a fantastic mm. word. Isn't it great? You'll use it from now on. I enjoy your badonka donk, honey. That's, <laughs> All right. That's fantastic. Chuffed to bits. Chuffed? Chuffed to bits. Chuffed to bits. Chuffed. Chuffed. Yeah. Like chin. Ch yes. Chuffed like. to bits. Yeah. Um, uh, just, uh, oh, just exhausted. Uh, oh. no. 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 It's, it's to be really pleased. To be really pleased about it. To be thrilled by something. I'm chuffed to bits. That's I, what I, I meant. I'm delighted. Um, I'm del <laughs> chuffed to bits by... I would, you, right. I would be chuffed a bit by your badonka donk, for uh, example. Yes. We're going to end on this one, because everyone has learned this watching the show, because uh, I've helped them. Shoddy. Shoddy? Shoddy. Uh... Shoddy. Shoddy had the maple bottom <laughs> jeans, boots with the fur. Uh... Shoddy had them baggy sweatpants, Reeboks with the strap. Just turn around and give it... one word. Shoddy. Right. She hit the floor, she hit the floor. Yeah, none it's, of this is helping. It's uh, a, you know, Shoddy got low, 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 low. No. I'm Sh gonna... Shoddy is a young kid or a woman. Really? Yep. From the hills, we'll be back. We'll be here. We come back. We'll be right back. <laughs>